electric scooter versus mini electric bike. Which one should you buy? Keep watching to find out. Hey guys, it's Sam from Tech Fusions. Hope you're well and safe. And today we're going to be taking a look at electric scooters versus mini electric bikes. Which one should you get? We're going to be discussing all the different topics between electric scooters and mini e-bikes in this video. These are two products myself and Jack have been testing out loads. So we want to give you our personal opinion on which one we think is better, electric scooter or a mini electric bike. So electric scooters are slowly being rolled out through different cities in the UK. We've done a, quite a lot of videos on rental electric scooters. We've got a playlist in the description down below if you want to check that out. But what I'd recommend is going out and actually taking one of these rental electric scooters out and then you get a true experience of an electric scooter. They're great fun and it's a great way of testing a scooter out before going out to make a big purchase and owning one for yourself. If you had a chance to test out electric scooter already, let us know in the comments down below. The one we're going to be taking a look today is the Xiaomi M365 Pro. So Jack has already done a really good in-depth video on this scooter, so we'll leave the link for that in the description below, which you can check out at your leisure. The Xiaomi brand of scooters is kind of like the Apple's iPhone. Xiaomi scooters are well known, they're really popular, and there's a main reason for that. They perform really well and they're just a great electric scooter. So we're just gonna quickly cover the specs of the Xiaomi M365 Pro and then we're gonna talk about the e-scooter and see where they compare. Now the Xiaomi scooter has a range of 14.6 miles, which is more than enough to get you to the shops and back. There is actually three new models of the Xiaomi scooters with increased range. So if you're looking for something with a bit more range, maybe have a look into the brand new line of Xiaomi scooters. The max speed the scooter can go is 15 miles per hour and you can also do a firmware upgrade or kind of hack to make the scooter go faster. But personally, I don't think that's needed. 15 miles an hour is more than enough to get you from A to B to the shops and back. It's really nippy and a great scooter to ride. There's three different modes on this scooter. There's Eco, Standard and Sport. Eco is really slow, so if you want to get most out of the range, but if you want to go fast, put in that sport mode, you're going to have loads of fun. The Xiaomi has a solid design. I really like the look of the scooter. It looks futuristic and it looks awesome. Now the scooters are really easy to operate. All you need is press the front throttle on the handlebar. You actually got to kick start the scooter to start it going. So push a little bit and then push on the throttle and off you go. It's really simple to use. Another great feature of the skewer is that it's got an electronic and a mechanical brake, which helps with stopping distance. The scooter comes with tiny eight inch tires, which are a pain to change, to be honest. If you have a look on the internet, you will see loads of people complaining about the tires. If you get a puncher, it's a bit of a pain to change. So be prepared for that. I would recommend buying some tubeless tires, which some of the latest electric scooters actually come with. So I'd recommend ordering some of those just in case you do unfortunately get a puncture. The scooter takes about eight to nine hours to fully charge up. So leave it overnight and then in the morning you can jump on your scooter and you'll be ready to go. As I said, electric scooters are becoming more of a common sight. You will see them out and about, round town, loads of people on them. And there's a big reason for that. They are so much fun and it's another way to commute. As I mentioned, I know there's new Xiaomi scooters out on the market, but we've tested out loads of electric scooters. And every time I go on one, I really enjoy my experience. I'm taking them out for a ride, and it's just a great way to commute. The Xiaomi Pro is just really easy to use. You can fold it up in one motion. It's very easy to carry about. It weighs about 14.6 kilograms, so not the lightest of scooters, but you can easily fold it, put it in your car, and off you go. So electric scooters for me gets a big thumbs up. Now let's talk about the more fun, the more quirky mini e-bike, the Jetson Bolt. Now some of you may have never seen a mini e-bike in your life. This is like an electric scooter, but in a bike format. It does look like a miniature little clown bike, but it is great fun. It's just as fun as an electric scooter, to be honest. The main difference is the Jetson Bolt has a seat. You can sit down and chill while you ride around town. The Jetson Bolt has a 250 watt motor plus a 5.2 milliamp battery which equates to about 17 miles of range. The Bolt has 10 inch tyres 
which are bigger than the Xiaomi Pro scooter tyres, but I actually felt the bumps more on the Jetson Bolt. Strange. On the Jetson Bolt you also get some metal pegs where you can rest your feet on. Another bonus of it being in a, more of a bike format than a scooter. Again, going back to that seat, it's pretty comfy to sit on. You can just ride around town. You don't have to be standing up the whole way. Bit lazy, but it works. Comparing the handlebar to the scooter, on the Jetson Bolt, on the left hand side, you have the on off switch and the horn, as well as the brake handle. On the right hand side, you have the battery indicator level and the cruise control button. Now the cruise control button is quite unique and I haven't seen this on electric scooters. So it's a really neat feature to have. You can set your speed by twisting the throttle, press cruise control and it'll just carry on at that speed. Now a con comparing the Jetson Bolt to the Xiaomi, the Jetson doesn't have a digital display to tell you how fast you're going. You can see via the app how fast you're going, but there's no LED screen directly built into the Jetson Bolt. The Jetson Bolt's website shows that it's a max of 16 miles per hour, but actually, if you go into the app, you can change this to 19 miles per hour. Now, it doesn't really go to a true 19 miles per hour unless you're going down a hill. It's more like 18, but still more than fast enough. Now to talk more about my preference and which one I would recommend you to buy. Well, to be honest, both scooter and mini e-bike are great. Firstly, I think private electric scooters are more of a safe bet in terms of them becoming potentially legal in the future in the UK. Unfortunately, at the moment, only the rental scooters are legal, so just be careful when riding out and about. But the way it looks, electric scooters will possibly become legal in the UK in the future. Another thing going for electric scooters, I just find them that much easier to ride about and to maneuver around town. It's a lot easier than the mini bike. The mini bike you've got to balance, you got to try and balance your weight while sitting there. With the scooter it's kind of, I wouldn't say self-balancing, but a lot easier than the Jetson Bolt. The Xiaomi also has a kick to start feature so you actually have to push off a little bit then push your throttle to go where the bolt you literally twist the throttle and you're off which can lead to an accident. So again another point for the skewer there. If you rather sit down to ride maybe the mini electric bike is for you. I know you can get scooters with seats but personally I just think they look a bit weird. Scooters, you've got a lot of choice with scooters to be honest. There's so many out there and there's new generations of electric scooters coming out right now so keep your eye out for any electric scooters which takes to your preference. I know mini e-bikes have evolved a bit since we've tested out the Jetson Bolt but I've got to say my experience with electric scooters, I'm always going to go back to an electric scooter and my preference is electric scooter. They're normally that easier to fold down, easier to put in your car, they're just easier in general. And as I said at the start of this video, if you got a chance to go and test out an electric scooter before purchasing, I would highly recommend doing so. They're so much fun and you will not regret going and taking one out. If you take one out for hire and it's 20p per minute, it's a 20p test ride just to see what are your thoughts on the scooter? We would like to know if you have an electric scooter or have you been on one? Let us know in the comments down below. We'd love to hear what are your thoughts on electric scooters and mini e-bikes. If you've got a mini e-bike also, let us know in the comments down below. As you can see, both options are great and it comes down to personal preference. My personal preference is the electric scooter. So well done electric scooters. Keep up the good work and I really can't wait to test out some more awesome scooters which we are on the channel so make sure you're subscribed hit that subscribe button hit that notification and you will see when we upload a brand new electric scooter video there's also a full video on the jetson bolt the link is also you guessed it down in the description down below so go and check that out if you want to see the full video on the jetson bolt we're really looking forward to testing out more electric vehicles and devices so we can't wait for that in the near future. What are your thoughts? Which one wins? This has been Sam from Tech Fusions. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next Tech Fusions video.